One of the most powerful tools within Moodle is the quiz facility. It is very, very powerful if it is used effectively. However, it does take a little while to get it set up. And if you're producing multiple quizzes within the same course, A, it takes time to build each of the quizzes and, and B, there's a risk that you might get the settings slightly different between each quiz and therefore they'll behave differently, which is not good for the learner's experience. And also you may get undesirable effects. So what I do personally is I never, ever create a quiz from scratch. What I always do is I use a template, which I've created in advance. I then duplicate that template and then I build the quiz within that. It's a lot quicker and it means that all of my quizzes within the course will have the same settings. Now, you might have multiple templates so that you can have quizzes for different purposes, and that's absolutely fine. Um, but I'll go through how we would do that. So I'm going to turn editing on. So here's my template I've created earlier, but I'm actually just going to go through the steps for yourselves of how you would actually create a template. So I'm going to add an activity or resource. So I'm going to find the quiz item in the list. And I'm going to call it new template. Now you can put in some sort of basic information. And then when you reuse it, you're just going to replace the X's. But what I'm going to do is put what the pass score is. And I'm going to set it as a default of 75%, but you can change it as you use it for different quizzes if you need to. Now, I'm just going to expand all, although we're not going to change all of the options here. Now, with the grade option, I'm going to set it so it's unlimited. They can do it as many times as they like. And uh, the highest grade is what they record. So if they get a grade and then they do it again, but the second time it's a lower grade, it will still record the highest grade that they do it. Now, what I want to do is put 75 in here as my pass grade, because that's what I've specified there. But it won't let me at first, because the quiz itself, by default, is set to score out of 10. So I'm going to leave that blank for the moment and come back to it later. Now, you can choose which question behavior you want to use. I'm going to use immediate with feedback. And normally, I'd actually come through and I'd actually change some of these options here. But I'll let you work out what options you want for your template. So I'm not actually going to do that. Just coming down to the feedback, I'm going to have a grade boundary of 75% and the feedback will be well done. And then if it's less than 75%, and then it'd be whatever instruction you want to give. You need to redo the quiz or you need to return to the learning materials, um, whatever you want to give. So. I'm just putting some very basic uh, feedback in for the moment. Obviously, you would normally elaborate uh, accordingly. Now, coming down, completion tracking, I'm going to show the activity as complete. The students must receive a grade and it must be a passing grade. Now, they don't have to view it, although you would have to view it in order to uh, get the passing grade. So they're the settings that I'm going to choose for activity completion. I'm now going to save and display. Now, what it's telling me here is it doesn't like the fact that there hasn't been a grade pass set to pass. So I'm going to have to put something in. So I'm initially going to put one in as my grade to pass. We're going to come back and change this anyway. So I save and display. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the edit quiz option, which is where you would normally add your questions. But we're not actually going to add any questions. But what we are going to do is change the maximum grade. So rather than it being 10, we're going to change it to 100 and we're going to save. I'm now going to go back and I'm going to edit the quiz that I'm creating. And I'm now going to change the grade so that the grade to pass is 75. And because 75 is less than 100, it lets me do that. So the way that I would then use this template if I wanted to create a real quiz is I would duplicate. And it will give me a copy of my template. I would then come into the quiz and go edit, edit settings. Now, 
you give it a new name. But for this one, I actually want the pass score to be 80. Well, it's dead easy. I've just got to change the text there to 80. I would change that to whatever it needs to be. I change that to 80. The overall feedback changes to 80. Save and display. And then you add your questions, which is a much quicker way than building this quiz from scratch every single time and trying to get the settings right. So just to take a template, duplicate it, change the pass score if what you've set as a default isn't correct is very, very easy. But the key to this was when you create the template is if you set the score within the quiz to be the 100%, it then just makes it much easier because everything works in percentages and you don't have to worry about conversions, you don't have to worry about how many questions you've added or any of that sort of stuff. You've just made your life a lot, lot easier. What I would then do in normal practice is I usually have a section at the bottom of my course which is hidden from students and then any templates that I'm using I hide within this template section so students don't see it. When I want to add a new quiz I just duplicate whichever template I want, drag it into the right position, change the settings, change the title, add the questions and away I go. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organisations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.